YouTube, this is Charlie from techinform.us, well, a writer from www.techinform.us. Anyhow, I'm here today with a video effects tutorial on how to add muzzle flashes to video clips that you need. So right here on my desktop, I have all the required utensils to do this. What we're going to be using today is Adobe um, After, After Effects. So right here, as you can see, I have a video of me just doing the basic gun gesture with no effects or anything. This is your base clip where we're going to be working on. So right there I do the gun gesture, nothing else really happens. So we're going to go into After Effects here and we're going to actually going to import our video first. This is going to be our base layer for all of our editing that's going to take place. We're going to, we're going to go to our project and we're going to drag it in. So here we have the actual clip. We're going to need to zoom in actually pretty far so we can navigate frame by frame so we can get it pretty precise. Next thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to take our muzzle flash and we're going to want to import that. So we're going to then resize it and we're going to need to find the exact moment of when my hand goes off. So this looks about right. I'm starting to see some movement right about here. Right there, see, as you can see right here, we have a little delay. We're starting to get some movement. So right there is where we want to add our muzzle flash. We're going to add this as a brand new layer right here. And we're going to position this so it is one frame exactly long. So I'm going to zoom all the way out and take it back in. Make it one frame long, move it back in, and I'm going to zoom in for more precise editing. So next out of that, as you can see, one frame is actually, or two frames, is actually good enough. So, we'll do a little walkthrough of the video. Here it is, about ready, getting ready to aim. There it shoots, and there we go. So we're going to click this right here. We're going to go up and position it to the point we want it. I'm actually going to rotate it further, and to get to bl the black off, I might add every single thing I'm using in this, in this video will be in the description. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to blending mode, and we're going to go to screen. This will get rid of the black layer. Now I'm going to line it up with the gun, and I'm going to position it wherever I want it. Let's say about right there. And it's not quite straight, so I'm just going to put it about there. So that's pretty good, and let's do a little walk through there. Through It'll shoot like there, right there. So right about now is the time we're gonna I need to add our smoke effect to make it look even more realistic. So we're gonna take the smoke, import it into into um, After Effects, and create a layer of it. Obviously, we're gonna need to zoom out and position it right here. Let me zoom in and get a more precise look. Right there. So as you can see, it has a huge white screen. So to get the white off and just the smoke, you're going to need to right click, go to blending mode, and go to dark color. This gives, this will basically make it so you can edit it all you like. So I'm going to size it to the position I like, a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. So there we go, I'm just going to size it, move it. And so since this is actually only a one shot clip. I can let it drag all the way out and disintegrate. So this is basically what it's going to look like. Starting there, getting ready to shoot, almost through, and then shooting. So it'll look like that. Now, that is pretty realistic if you ask me. If you want to get even more fancy, you can mask out some parts of your surroundings to make um, it so it'll basically glow when you shoot it, but I'm just going to be going over the basics. So now we're going to need to go up some layer, I mean composition, we're going to need to add to render Q-U-E-U-E, -E. I don't know how to say that exactly. Add it and we're going to render it right out here. I mean, my format's going to be QuickTime and I personally like to use H.264 because I'm on a Mac and I do every keyframe recording and frame recording. Also I like my audio output to be the standard dual channel. And I'm gonna put it our real guns real dash underscore one. That's fine. So right here, uh, I can actually zoom out. Right here, we can go back to our render, um, and we're just gonna hit render. Um, it'll take some time. 
shouldn't take too long. So I'll be back to you guys when it's completely rendered. Alright guys, so here we are in GarageBand. I've gotten the video from After Effects all rendered up. You can see it right here. This is just with no audio, no sound effects, just the video effects. I had the bass clip, which is the gesture, as well as the effects right there that I've done in After Effects. So that's basically what we have, what we're dealing with now. So we're gonna go ahead and open up GarageBand, or basically any audio editing application will allow you to do this. And you can do this on Audacity, even Windows Movie Maker if you're on a Windows computer uh, or a Windows machine, I should say. So um, what we're gonna do, we're going to go up here to Track, and we're gonna hit New Track. We are going to make a software instrument right there, just for starters. And we're going to actually drag in the clip that I just played, the one that we just exported from After Effects, right into the GarageBand interface. So this will convert, this will render, and then how we have a movie track. So this is very simple for a one-shot video. If you have multiple shots in the clip that you want to edit, this might not be the best approach. But so we can delete the... Um, grand piano track now and we're actually going to delete the movie soundtrack but before we do that we're going to highlight it and hit command D that will duplicate it now we can delete the one that GarageBand said it has audio on now what we're going to do we're going to take this um, actually the shotgun effect sound and I'll show it to you sounds like that that I downloaded links for these always down below so we're going to drag this into the GarageBand interface as well so now we're going to actually take our movie track and double click. This will bring up the movie preview, which is what we can actually use to find the exact moment that we are going to put the effect on. So right about right about there. So as you can see, the flash is just going off. We want to add the effect right out here. So we're going to take the movie sound, we're going to drag it right up to the playhead, right about... Here. Yep, that's exact. So now, when I play through it, open up the preview again. I'm going to make the preview a little bit bigger so you all can see it. When I play through it, it's going to look like this. So the audio really isn't off at all. So when we have that, when you have it all edited, you're going to go up here to share and you're going to hit export movie to disk. Um, I mean, you have all these different settings. You have email, web, web streaming, iPod, Apple TV, and full quality. You also have export settings if you want to choose your export settings, but full quality is fine for me. It estimates that's going to be about 140 meg. That's not too bad. It'll take about maybe 10 minutes to upload to YouTube. So we're going to hit export. Now this won't take a long time at all. I'm actually going to make it So I named it Shooting a Wooden Gun Realistic, saving it to my desktop, or I should say exporting it to my desktop. So I might add, well I have to add, that the GarageBand method that I just showed you only works if you have a one-shot clip, like I do, where the character in the clip, me, in my position, is only shooting a gun once. If you have multiple shots, it gets more difficult. Um, you actually have to layer your um, sounds, so it, it gets difficult. So I will show you what one of those looks like in a minute. So here we have, um, right here, I'm going to open it up in quick time. And I believe this is the video we just exported from, yep, this is the video we just exported from GarageBand with sound and everything. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it'll stay in proportion. This is what the entire thing looks like.
Alright, so that's what that looks like. So it looks pretty realistic. The audio isn't off. We have both channel audio. Yep. This looks pretty good. So that's how you basically add a muzzle flash. If you want to do rapid mu uh, muzzle flashes, I will do a tutorial on that. And if you have multiple shots like this, um, I made this actually earlier today. So I'll do a tutorial on how to do mu basically multiple shots. Um, just it's pretty simple, but it's it'll be a simple tutorial. It took me a while to figure out, but it's not too hard. So I hope this helped anybody who needed to know how to do this. I'm again the links for the black smoke, the muscle flash, and the um, what's it called? The sound will be in the video description. What will also be in the description is the link for the website that I have for, and then that is www.techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter, that link will also be down below, at twitter.com slash advocates. And link, drop me a comment and see how, how you like my new intro. I spent like three hours making that. I know it's a really long time, unfortunately. Anyhow, so I'll catch you guys later. So rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.